My name is Yuma Wainsang de Prisca and I come from Burkina Faso, a country located in West Africa. I think Prison College changed my life in the sense that for me it represents a turning point, a really significant turning point in my life in the sense that being at home I was so much confused about who I, I really am, what I truly believe in and People around me always discourage me about things that I like or things that I want to do. And my mom used to always tell me that I'm too much optimistic. And like I get that from most of my friends. And I've always been like, oh, you're dreaming too much. But coming here, I really found people like me. And thinking that I'm not that crazy and I'm not like alone believing that. So it was really something that gave me confidence and really safe and hope to believe really in what I, I, I think I should do or things that I think it's right and yeah. I to the donors that contribute to my me getting here and my education here and all the experiences that I've been through here and everything that I learned here I really want to tell them that all the donors that they didn't just contribute to my education or me getting here and having maybe the bright future but they truly invest in many a network of people because what I've learned here I really I'm really happy and excited to share with everyone else and I'm very excited to go back home this summer because when I went last year people already noticed that I've changed and I'm talking about things that they really don't understand why and I think that sharing that with all the people that I will meet is really something that I want to do and I am really grateful to these donors that are not only impacting my life but the life of all the people that I will meet and the experience that I will share with all of them. After finishing my IB exams I will be heading to university where I will be studying engineering and especially electrical engineering and it's something that I've dreamed of like for so long and I didn't know it was possible like when I was a child I always tell my mom that sometimes when there's um, we like the electricity cut out. I will always tell my mom that hmm, I will do something, and she never believed me. She think I won't do. And then she said, "How long are you going to do that? Like for how long we will just be here?" And like we were like hope and stuff like that. But I don't know. Being at home, I always, I was always like excited to do something, even though there's nothing like in the way that showed me that it was possible. So I'm really happy that coming to here, like it had given me opportunity to do really something that I really wanted to do for so long. I'm very glad that the school really supported me in the sense that I came here like so I thought there was no possibility because I couldn't speak English as well. I came late and everything was just so confusing and but with the support of the teachers, the support of the administration and the, my roommates, the friends that I have, I've just made it through and now I'm going to do my final exams. So. That was kind of a big journey in my life because I thought it was not possible. And going through those challenges like like helped me to think that you know there's nothing that I can see and I'll be like, oh this is not possible anymore because like going through that allowed me to be more hope, have more hope in things that I do and say that let's give it a try and it should be alright.